Hi, I'm JD. I'm going to show you another uh, trick with the inner circle. This time it deals with the signs. So, some classes you might have been taught this, and other classes, because of time, and maybe the teacher doesn't know the trick, because they're usually, you know, mathematicians. <laughs> So sometimes it takes, you know, they can, they can, so most of them can speak on our levels, but some of them are just so smart, they just don't know how to speak to our level. So this is a little trick dealing with the unit circle and the signs. So let me draw out the unit circle. It's a circle and it's raised as a unit. That's why it's called a unit circle. So you have, zero, this is pi over two, which is nine degrees. This is pi, this is uh, three pi over two, and this is also two pi. Now, what are the quadrants? You know, this is quadrant, yeah, quadrant one. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, and this is quadrant four. Now, those are your quadrants. Now, what are the, again, we're looking at the signs. So let's look at the points. In here, your x coordinate is positive or negative? Yeah, positive. Yeah, in fact, both of them are positive. In quadrant two, what are the signs? Yeah, x is going to be negative and y is going to be positive. In quadrants, in quadrants uh, three, what are the signs? Yeah, both of them are negative. And in quadrant four, what are the signs? Yeah, your x's are positive here, and your y's are negative. Now, here's the trick. A smart trig class. Say it with me. A smart trig, I can spell trig, A smart trig class. Say it with me. A smart trig class. Say it on your own. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. A smart trig class. And it's in the order that you see the quadrant. So one, two, three, four, A smart trig class. So what does that stand for? Well, in quadrant one, all are positive. So none of the trig trigonometric functions are negative when the degree, when the angle is in quadrant one and quadrant two, sine is gonna be positive. So that also means its reciprocal function, which is cosecant, will also be positive. And what that also means is that cosine and tangent would be negative. Now in quadrant number three, T, what do you think it stands for? Tangent. So the tangent function is going to be positive, and sine and cosine are going to be negative. That also means cosecant and secant would be negative as well. And that cotangent, the reciprocal function of tangent, would be, yes, positive. Now in quadrant four, what do you think the C stands for? If you said cotangent, you're incorrect. It's cosine. And if you did say cosine, you're right on. Cosine would be positive, so that means sine would be negative, and tangent would be right, would be negative. So this is an easy way to remember what the signs are in each quadrant. So again, 
for sake of repetition so that you can remember. A smart trig class. All right? And that's